How's everybody there? We're playing Super Wars D, picking up from last time. Now, I made some changes in my room, so hopefully that reverb is gone? It sounds better in my test, so we will see. I also spent all the space box upgrading units that we're going to be keeping in, since there's no EVs at this point, I think. It's just all whoever we want. So let's see how that fares. Next map. So Atlantis seemed like, yeah, Hikaru and Atlantis seemed like they knew what was going on. Yeah, I had to go to Antarctica, but what's waiting for us? Just the mic a bit in, in Antarctica. So it is supposed to be debonair, okay. How? I don't think we're gonna get many hows in this game. I think it should just be just like, enjoy the final crossover of the PS4 era. Aww. You're gonna betray me again, aren't you, bird? Okay, so you definitely know something's up. Well, I mean, we know it ends here. Expand to scenario 10, Will of Magic. So we know that end's gonna be here. Probably Nevelina too. Uh, that's new. Oh no! I mean, it's a lot of golems, but they're just golems. Scramble! Uh, we got seven in the front, okay. Nothing weird this time, so... Big units up front. That includes you. Uh, who am I forget? Oh, guy. Level 127 guy, okay. Um. Do that. And here we go. Oh, you'll love to see that giant line of giant mechs. So, well, face whoever shows up, whomever they may be, okay? Uh, what, please tell me you're like not. Okay, so you're actually weaker than us now. So maybe 120 is the bad guy cap, and like 130, 140 is going to be the boss cap. Oh, that'd be amazing. And they all got bonuses, so... But they're... This... I sense, I sense trickery afoot. This seems way too easy. Alright. Everybody knows my plan. Vaughn! Woo! Like those odds. That's how you send a message. She's in attack range too? Damn. Alright. Let, let's check out this damage. Curious. It's gonna determine whether or how, like, I guess my plan is. Now I get being pissed off by that, that's a lot of damage. And... The return? Ooh, okay, that's still... More than I would like for the freaking Sizzler Black. Um... That's nah, fine, Amaro. Like, I don't want to don't want to burn a, a... A good attack to take out like 3,000 damage on a little dude. I'd rather have... Somebody else, like a ship, who needs some levels up, pick them off. I need to keep the Magic Knights as close together as possible, because they're going to have to get their, um... 
we are fighting Debonair, there's going to be a time where they need to get their, like, group attack off. Hey, you know, if resupplying 7 energy gives me 200 EXP, I'll do that all day, every day. So the one who benefit the most from this whole, uh, like, thing is Angela. Like, she is a much better machine than she was last map. Because I just give her hearts and buff- actually, custom- she didn't even have a custom bonus, like, the full custom bonus, so... Yeah, she's in a much better spot now. And swipe. Uh, he did, so I beg to differ on that one, guy. Ooh, okay. Not bad for a mid-range attack. Oh man, even on Kincaid? Let's see this. 63? That's a horrible... Well, it's not horrible. We've been hit with way worse. A lot. Oh, thank god. My heart stops a little bit every time. It's like, uh, please, don't get hit! Don't get hit! <laughs> that little bit, that little delay between when you attack commences and, like, he dodges, it's just like... <gasps> nice! Okay, yeah, we're doing some decent damage now. What happens if you dodge? 84. Uh, what happens if you defend? Uh, you should block this. I was gonna say, with defend? No, there's no way. Okay. Can we not get a support attack there? Otherwise, the support defend on Puru because they're not gonna hit her. I got uh, now that I'm at my new place. Also, I got I'm gonna change the music up next episode because I just finally found the flash drive and all the music I had on there after I moved. I haven't had a chance to import it in the game yet. Okay, that's a good hit. Oh, this guy's dead. Now he's dead. Not as fun to go first. He should be at max morale. I really buffed him up. I guess I just go for Puru because she was in the front, but you know, I mean, she'll keep she'll keep hitting them. I mean, with her perma focus, they cannot touch her. That's a bit better. Okay, twenty six. Come on, come on, miss. Oh, I'm hissing, like, yes! Yes, Morale's 180. You can't kill him with a 180? Morale? Okay. Yeesh, it's the freaking Vaughn and Puru show. Which I'm fine with, I mean... It must be because she technically has, like, the least amount of hit points than anybody on this side of the map, but... I'm gonna throw the ship next to her, because she's running out of... Run out of juice. Ooh, no, I can have a uh, Sagiri or someone heal her up. Just uh, resupply her. I got 54. Come on, Allenby. Get 
54. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, God. Yeah, that, that was a bad one. Oh, well, I mean, we, they missed the 60, so. The exponentially gets larger on the back end. I think. I mean, I was kind of hoping for this. It's still stupid. Okay, now there is no way. Like, I, I buy they could hit Sizzler Black, but the Gunbuster. Really? Yeah, once again, they keep going for Puru. I'm going to have to back her down to Fin Funnels because she's just running out of power, but she is freaking. Like I said, she and Vaughn have just like, eh, I'll get two of those off. Like, she's weakening up everybody on that side of the map, and these guys, because I actually went with my normal plan of just throwing Vaughn in here, he has killed what? The 10 guys? Uh, you're gonna need some more golems here, pal. Jeez. Vaughn, uh, and you get all your energy back because of how you work. We really got a little bit back, not much. Um, you know, after all that, I want her to get at least one kill. Hmm. She loves it up. Will that kill anybody then? I'm fine with that. I wanted to get at least one. I mean, she did all that work on all these guys. Okay, so the question now becomes, this is a leveling up operation at this point. Anybody who is not 120, which isn't that many, Chitose, I mean, it's just Chitose and the ships, which honestly makes a hell of a lot of sense. Much better. Uh, move here. Gives him his 10. Ruri's already at 19, so she's doing pretty good. She's got 30% chance to hit Vaughn. We'll take it. I was gonna say, as much as I like her, I'm like, it's a 30. Our long, yeah, you guys are way low, but that's because you kind of suck. And, and don't blame me, you just suck in general. Like, your attacks, you, you guys are horrible. Like, their attacks aren't good, they don't have commander. Uh, like, you, like you, you have to give them everything to make them a good ship. Like, you have to give them hit and run so they can actually attack and move. You have to give them command terminal so they can actually be a commander. Like, it's a horrible ship. Nice. Okay, I mean, that's, uh, everybody's above 120 now except for the ships, which is exactly what we wanted. Oh, wow, his Gatling driver can do that? Okay, um... Needs a little Gatling driver action then. Perfect. And to finish him off, so I'm just gonna level up. L and B. Cool. Now you should, even you should be able to finish him off, right? Yes. If you can hit him, then we're not taking that chance. Come on, with the borderline infinite range, good god. 
And Fu with a quick kill. Should I put you here? For Umi. Alright, cool. So they do have all their attacks up then. And with all three of them there, we can be sure to move them in a combination where we can actually get the good attacks off. Once again, Amuro has just as good a range as Amon. But he can attack twice. I don't think her skill's high enough to justify double attack, though. This guy was like, oh, thank God they missed me. Oh, no, it's the getter. Can the getter tomahawk? Yeah. Once again, I think that's just an axe. Like, I don't want to be that guy, I'm just saying. Oh, good lord. Everybody here is freaking strong. Well, it also helps that finally, and I do mean finally, um, we're on par. Like, we've always been behind them. Like, they were all, like, always 120 or 130, and we were always down in the 90s or 100s. The fact that we're now on par, slowly gaining on the enemy means the battles are going to be a little easier. Like, I always expect the boss to be 10 levels higher than us because it's a boss. But the boss like 150 and we're like 110, we'd be screwed. Like I accidentally put this thing on hard mode. For the expansion, where it's like, you probably should have beat New Game Plus before you try this one. And it was right. You get lots of crits too. Like God's judgment. Didn't even didn't even have a chance. Uh, they're down to three units. Let's see how much they can actually do to her. I mean Ch Chitose is right there and Allenby, so healing's an option. Not much. Oh, they did less to her than they did to Tetsuya. She's retaliating with... Of how much power, though? How much? What kind of damage are we doing? And that's not our best attack. She's at 130 now, so she has guard. Well, that was dumb. Yes, his mods and power up. Okay, so they did almost the same amount of damage to Tetsuya. Okay, the enemy is still not coming at us. I'm okay with this. Um, and she downed this one with a final beam. Perfect. So, yeah, that was the last golem. Oh, wait, it's actually Zagato's rune god? Oh, Nova's here too. Ah, that makes sense now. But is that Zagato and... Are they back? They haven't said anything yet.
I was gonna say, yeah, that happened. Oh, she got her own wish come in? Oh, she, ha she has it, but I'm like, oh, is she just casting it? Okay, so it's just debonair then, right? Alright, there she is. Well, she did become the pillar, so it makes sense. <sighs> Instead of answering the burning questions, I'll give you this. Um, that's not exactly impressive. No, yeah, we, we mentioned the Dark Gundam was just kind of floating in space. She's like, toodles! All right, well, Delmon's got to take that thing out then. I hate when it does that, but... Oof, okay, those things are kind of tough. So, what's the Dark Gundam then? Question marks? Yeah, 135, figured. Oh, Lord, decreases all that by 20 frames in three spaces. So, when this thing gets on top of us, it, we lose a lot. Uh, you have a map too, don't you? Uh, you did the move to get there, so we'll deal with that in a second. For right now, fortunately, the units that can hit from long range. And they still have a zero percent chance to hit Puru, which is amazing. Okay, so they're not super tough. I mean, this isn't gonna be easy, but it's not. These aren't super tough. Wait, did we fight Debonair to this too? Yeah, can Cage is freaking. Walked up and just smacked that thing down. I saw the gun buster over here. You know what? If it's gonna do that, if I gotta throw a big fat decoy out here, could do worse. Oh yeah, I could do way worse. You tell Makaru. I still think that uh, the whole crew should get points for this. Oh, that's one down. It's at 49 where they get her shine spark. It's down to oh god 13. Yeah, these things are nothing. Uh, these things are nothing. The dark Gundam still kind of scary. I, I'm po I don't want to burn too much because I'm positive we have to fight debonair to this. I mean that's kind of what they were building up to the whole time. Could you use Winds of Protection? Alright, she got him.
Mom, can you get some from here? No, damn it. All right. I'm gonna kind of leave these guys back, but we are going to put on... Those kind of things, because you could easily come down here and then map across, which would be bad. All right, let's see how this goes. Stuck. Uh, he has that persist. It's fine. Okay, with this one. Yeah, when him hit it, the gun buster did like 4,000 damage. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm doing a lot less now. I couldn't have asked for more. There is wall on, so that if they hit him, it won't do anything. Uh, flesh. Get her beam on him. Once again, it's exactly what I was going for. Yeah, the, he did 40 on Vaughn last time. So does that persist. It means he can't move in map. If he maps, he's going to do very little damage. So it worked out pretty well in the end. Yeah, not even much. Yeah, and the ones that attacked Vaughn just got thoroughly wrecked. Okay, Delmon did a little secchi high. Let's do this. Let's see how much he can do on the start. Let him kill one of the Master Gundams. It's easier. Delmon's fucking. You know, palm blast to the face. I mean, it's not going to kill him, but I just want to see how much he can do. Oh, wow, that, that was 12. Okay. He might be a little tougher than I thought. He may actually be the final boss. If 12,000 moved him that much, uh, yeah, he might actually be tough. Not that these guys aren't tough, they're just... not that tough. See, that's how good Kuro is, man. With all the buffs I give her, this thing has an 8% chance to hit her. And she doesn't have any, like, nothing special, just her perma-focus and her skills. 8% and this, these guys are not they're not they're borderline like high level enemies alright let's see Sagiri go in for the Slant Tripper kill this Master Gundam and then or Grand Master Gundam and we got two more of these guys and then just a Dark Gundam the Dark Gundam is going to be a problem Two more, my bad. Uh, still, does not negate my my previous statement. It's going to be a problem. We actually ran into an interesting new problem where it's actually now hard to gain levels up because these guys are just like so. Like now that we're at the same level, we're not getting 
as much EXP from him. Okay, people who... I'm not sure... could survive a map. Like, he can't map this far, right? It's only seven, I thought. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, gotta persist on the ship. Give me the old flash. Okay, that should do it. Get her persist, and we got plenty of four C's. I knew it was going to turn a map. I did not think it would hit uh, Umi. Arsagiri, damn. We just need this thing dead. Now he says dead like a giant lightning kick to the face. Oh, we gained it all his life. Oh, that's right. You have like medium, right? Yeah. Oh, 30%. Oh, God. I forgot he does the thing where we're going to lower our stuff at every turn. Um. Alright, a couple things. First, a little system seizure as well. Alright. So his morale's down to 104. I mean, I might want a little lower. Right, you saw that part, right? No, I took it off, that's right. But Sagiri's fine, because with Sagiri, I actually have the ability, uh, I gave her the boss ramen, so I can actually get all this back right now if I wanted to. Good, so now we'll be taking, it'll be taking uh, all the damage we wanted to. Okay, we're doing... Now we're doing some damage. Okay. Uh, I can move the ship in and restore the gun buster. Risky, but worth it. I can restore it twice if I wanted to. And I kind of do... <laughs> Oh my god, like, they have ripped into him. Ooh, we're gonna get a spiral effect if we beat him? Oh, it's a damn good part. Zone recovers all right. Um... Man, we take off more than half his life, he's still in question marks. That is... a discouraging sign. Judo with a full power high mega. Oh, man, he is... Not taking much damage. See, that is how good Puru is. He has a 2% chance to hit her. Hey, how does your map work? No, that was bad. It's three in front. So if I position the Magic Knights... Hmm. To work on this. The whole fact that it's going to get 30% of its immense life bar back into this turn is really annoying. Oh, God, jeez. 
No, uh, it's not worth Harlock attacking him. It is worth Harlock. Restore the action of the getter. Okay, he's down to numbers finally. Yeah, what's your total life? I can find that out, right? Uh, it's in. There it is. 400. Okay, he almost he he had 120,000 more hit points than the final boss of the game. He's got four. He's got 4,000 armor. You're a triple XL, aren't you? Oh, just a one L. Interesting. Shine Spark. Eighty-three down to. Yeah, see, so at least a getter, a getter was doing work on him. He's back in the one thirty though. Um, we need ourselves a dot. All right, a little flashing sword action. He's definitely tough. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, got some more another rump. Oh. Oh, all right. Oh, we got this. This should do some big damage. I mean, it's EX, it's smash hit, direct attack, loved up, and this is their best attack by far. Let's hit at least 20. Nice. So we can do a bit more damage for Domo to be able to go in there and get a hit off. He's down to 12. Domo can easily do this now. Dumb has loves, or he gets gained fortune. That won't. Why won't that kill him? Smash a direct attack loved? Oh, is, is Morale back above 130? No. Is it because we took so much, so much life off of him that it now basically. Um, There it is. Uh, will the Shuffle Alliance combo shoot him down? No, okay. Sekiha Tankyo Ken it is. Yeah, we, we literally seen him do this one on him not that long ago, so we're gonna fast forward this. It'd be unfair to fight Debonair now. The Debonair would have to be stronger than this thing. And while this game, while these bosses are challenging, the game's not usually that unfair. And he's evaporated into nothingness with love. And Dolmon's now up to 133. Yes, the Spiral Fetcher is going to be the awesome part to get. Hell being the correct term. Um. Ooh, brave morale limit. Oh, so there's gonna be mo more max morale, which is good. I can think of a couple of guys that might be useful for. I hate she doesn't even have a name. Nothing ominous about this. 
Ah, uh, excuse me? Did I read that number right? His personal slush fund, he just personally had that much money lying around. He just had five million dollars just sitting around, untraceable. Man, he really sucked. He steal this from the stockholders and the investors? What the hell? I mean, I'll take it because we can... At five million dollars, we probably max out everybody and then work on their attacks. Aww. Aww. We have five million dollars! That is insane. That also means I only gained $300,000 in that last fight, but that is insane. All right, uh, tech management. I'm sure we got a story beat, right? Uh oh. Got that death stare of hers, jeez. All right, well, we now have all the money. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be upgrading the ever-living crap out of this, th out of everybody. I honestly and truly think that with, like, okay, how much would it cost to upgrade Hikaru to max? Like, yeah, it's gonna cost us, I think on average, because some people are higher than others, like 300,000 per unit to upgrade, meaning we can upgrade over 10, fully upgrade over 10 units to max everything. We don't need to do max everything, like I don't think, some units don't even need like max energy. They just need like max like like he's fine on energy. 470 is fine. Like just buffing him up is gonna cost like 130? 160 probably. Yeah, exactly. It's way less, so. Good god. Okay. Cool. So next time I'm gonna change the music around. We're gonna spend all that money in the tack too, because I need to give uh we're gonna have to start doing guards and uh I might spend the I might spend 2500 of that in the attacker and sell some of my old, my old parts that I'm never going to use again. They got plenty of them. Uh, yeah, and one attacker is definitely going to help. So, we'll do that for next time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. That was actually a pretty easy match. The Dark Gundam, uh, just by the fact that it would have gotten, wait, it got 30% of his life back. I just realized that. So, it, it was getting 120,000 hit points a turn. Is that 412, right? Oh my lord. Ugh. That's rough. And you know the final bosses have that exact same ability. The problem is, it was like, and he had like a million hit points. He was not looking forward to that fight again. Ugh, but we'll deal with that when it comes to it and then the, probably another four or five rounds, I imagine. So next time, Debonair and Sephiro and upgrade on the machine. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.